Yeah, we will be removing uh, large numbers of people. President Trump is confirming nationwide immigration and customs enforcement raids will begin this weekend. And CNN is reporting a senior official has confirmed about 2,000 people are targeted. Fox Wells' Marsha Martinez joins us live from Portland's ICE headquarters to explain why the city's sanctuary status doesn't guarantee the raids will not happen here. Marsha. Well, according to the ACLU of Oregon, uh, that status has no bearing on what ICE here chooses to do. All it means is that the city police don't have to help them. This immigration plan was postponed last month. At the time, President Trump said uh, that he wanted to give uh, both parties the opportunity to come up with a different solution, but it appears that time is up. It starts on Sunday and they're going to take people out and they're going to bring them back to their countries or they're going to take criminals out, put them in prison. President Trump is making good on his promise to step up immigration enforcement. Today, he announced ICE raids beginning this weekend. CNN is reporting they'll take place in 10 major U.S. cities. Portland was not on that list, but when Fox 12 asked an ICE spokesperson to confirm, we received this statement saying, Due to law enforcement sensitivities and the safety and security of U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement personnel, the agency will not offer specific details related to enforcement operations. Having a status as a sanctuary city doesn't guarantee that ICE will respect that status. ACLU Oregon's legal director, Matt Dos Santos, worries Portland could see an increase in ICE activity. I can almost certainly guarantee that the additional increase of enforcement activity would lead to new reports of inhumane conditions as overcrowding um, continues. In its statement to Fox 12, I said it will prioritize the arrest and removal of those who pose a threat to national security, public safety and border security. And according to a spokesperson, 66% of those arrested by ICE in 2018 were convicted criminals, 21% had pending charges, while 3% were listed as ICE fugitives or illegally re-entered the country after being removed. Only 10% fit none of those categories. I think we can expect to see at the end of the day that there will be a number of people who have never had criminal justice involvement who um, get swept into these raids. Although many, including the ACLU, are denouncing the enhanced enforcement that's coming up this weekend, ICE records actually show that more people were deported during the Obama administration than during the Trump administration. On its west website, it states that a quarter of, mi of a million people were deported just last year in the 2018 fiscal year, compared to more than 400,000 that were deported in 2012. Reporting live from the ICE headquarters here in Portland, Mark Martinez, Foxville, Oregon. A candlelight vigil is being held in downtown Portland tonight in solidarity with immigrants and refugees. Organizers say the Lights for Liberty event is in protest of inhumane conditions faced by migrants at the U.S. border. This event will be at Terry Shrunk Plaza at 830, followed by a procession over the Hawthorne Bridge. Organizers say they're expecting more than a thousand Portlanders to take part, and they say it is one vigil among 20 taking place in Oregon and more than 600 in communities around the world.